Nile Crocodile versus Saltwater Crocodile. Who would win a fight between these two epic predators? Many of you have asked me to make this video, so thank you for that. And please press the subscribe button for more videos. Nile Crocodile is one of the world's largest and most powerful crocodiles. Their strength is the epitome of power. In fact, Egyptians considered Nile crocodiles as the god of fertility, power, and protection. This giant, strong, magnificent creature intrigues interest of all. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest living reptiles on Earth. These massive creatures are known by a slew of names, including sea crocodile, Indo-Pacific crocodile, salty, marine crocodile, and estuarine crocodile. They also have an incredibly wide distribution as they live in regions from India and Asia to Australia. Size and Appearance Nile crocodiles are the second largest species of crocodile on Earth. They can grow up to 16.4 feet, 5 meters long, and weigh an average 900 pounds, 410 kilograms. Some exceptionally large crocodiles have been found that are up to 19.6 feet, 6 meters long, and weigh 2,000 pounds, 900 kilograms. The Nile crocodile is covered with hard, bony, plate-like scales which are colored a dark or olive gray on the top, with bare bands which run across the back. On the underside, they are a cream or yellow color, with black patches. Their streamlined long body ends with a narrow jaw at one end, which has visible teeth sitting on the outside of the mouth at all times. On the head, the eyes, nostrils, and ears sit on top of the head. This allows these to sit out of the water so that they can see and breathe while the rest of their body is safely below the surface. Their tail is long and muscular. They also have webbed feet, which can be used to assist with swimming. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest living reptiles. Adult males can reach 19 to 23 feet, 6 to 7 meters and weigh between 2,200 to 2,650 pounds, 1,000 to 1,200 kilograms. Females are much smaller and do not generally exceed 10 feet, 3 meters. The head is quite large and features a pair of ridges that run from the eyes along the center of the snout. The scales are oval and the scutes, bony plates, are small compared to other species. Adults are darker with light tan to gray areas. The ventral surface is white or yellow in color and stripes are present on the lower sides of the body but do not extend to the belly. The tail is gray with dark bands. The saltwater crocodile has a heavy set jaw with between 64 to 68 teeth. Saltwater crocodiles use thermoregulation to maintain body temperatures. They cool themselves in water and warm themselves in the sun. Range and Habitat Nile crocodiles are widely found around Lake Chad, Senegal River, Sudan, Wadai, Okavango Delta, and Cunene regions. They have been traced in the southern and western parts of Madagascar. The species have also been spotted sometimes in Comoros and Zanzibar. They actually cover the entire sub-Saharan Africa. Nile crocodiles inhabit mostly in coastal lagoons, rivers, and estuaries that flank forest belts at the equator. Their preferred habitats are lakes, rivers, dams, and marshes. In some regions, they have been observed to habitat in the sea belts also. Crocodilus porosus is most commonly found on the coasts of northern Australia and the islands of New Guinea and Indonesia. It ranges west as far as the shores of Sri Lanka and eastern India, 
All along the shorelines and river mouths of Southeast Asia to central Vietnam, around Borneo and into the Philippines, and even out to Palau, Vanuatu, and the Solomon Islands. Saltwater crocodiles are strong swimmers and can be found very far from land. The saltwater crocodile shows a high tolerance for salinity, being found mostly in coastal waters or around rivers. It may also be found in freshwater rivers, billabongs and swamps. Food Habits Nile crocodiles are pure carnivores and only eat once a week at most. Their diet consists of fish, reptiles, small to medium-sized mammals, and birds. They lie motionless in the water in wait for their prey, with only their eyes and nostril openings above the surface. They can only use their teeth to hold onto their food, not to break it up. If their prey is too large to swallow, they tear it into bite-sized pieces with twisting and slinging movements. The teeth are replaced with new ones every eight to ten months. The saltwater crocodile is a predator and has many different types of prey. When young, Crocodilus porosus is restricted to smaller prey like insects, amphibians, crustaceans and small fish and reptiles. When they become an adult, they feed on larger prey such as mud crabs, turtles, snakes, birds, buffalo, wild boar, and monkeys. When the saltwater crocodile hunts for food, it usually hides in the water with only the nostrils, eyes, and part of the back exposed. When the prey approaches, it lunges out of the water and attacks, usually killing its prey with a single snap of the jaws. The saltwater crocodile then drags the prey under the water, where it is more easily consumed. Behavior The Nile crocodiles are solitary animals. However, they can occasionally be seen feeding in small groups consisting of several individuals. They usually use a special technique, enclosing an area of water in order to concentrate fish within it. Then, dominance hierarchies decide in what order the members of the group will feed. These reptiles are mainly nocturnal. By day, the crocodiles typically sunbathe or cool off in the water if needed. Male crocodiles are highly territorial. They patrol and defend their territories, which often include a part of the shoreline extending about 50 meters into the water. Nile crocodiles usually dive for a few minutes before they come to the surface. However, when threatened, they are able to remain submerged for up to 30 minutes. They are exceptionally fast runners, and in general, these crocodiles have very quick reflexes, but, unfortunately, tire quickly. The saltwater crocodile is a highly territorial, but not at all social animal. These reptiles are not tolerant of their own kind. Typically, they do not mind females on their territory, but will fiercely drive away rival males. The saltwater crocodiles are night hunters, spending the daytime hours moving through water or sunbathing. Being cold-blooded animals, these reptiles have to constantly maintain their body temperature. They use various forms of communication, including vocalizations as well as visual and chemical signals. Meanwhile, young crocodiles usually emit chirping sounds in order to attract the attention of their mother, or to keep members of the creche together. Now let's get to the most important part, the fight. Who would win? Nile Crocodile versus Saltwater Crocodile. Nile Crocodile in same length is slightly heavier than the Saltwater Crocodile. Saltwater Crocodile has more stamina underwater and is faster in comparison to Nile Crocodile. Nile Crocodile has more rough and thick skin. They both have similar jaw structure, and the bite force are also similar. Crocodiles try to rip off and kill each other. Nile Crocodiles get tired faster, while saltwater crocodiles do death rolls and are impossible to get out of it. 
behavior is only slightly different. While Nile crocs can be very aggressive, saltwater crocodiles are even more so and show more cunning and audacity. But the tipping point is the size. The largest male Nile crocodile was 1,000 pounds. That's about average for male adult saltwater crocodiles. The largest salties are 2,000 pounds. Even if we use the average size for both, the saltwater croc will be twice the mass and be able to overpower the Nile crocodile. So, in my opinion, saltwater crocodile would win the fight with Nile crocodile. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.